Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Hazen Union Wildcat boys soccer action today as they take on the Oxbow Olympians. Olympians come in with a record of 0-1. They lost to Danville by a score of 2-1. to Had a nice chat with their coach Andrew Fisher just before the game. Making the travel up I-91 from Bradford for today's matchup. Hazen Union Wildcat boys come in with a record of 1-1. One one. They lost their opener down at PA, but came back to their home opener here at Hudson Fields and Hazen Union High School and won in dramatic fashion with just a minute and 24 seconds left in the second overtime to secure the 3-2 victory over the Fairfax Bullets. That was a game and a half, was it not, Griff? I had a great time. It was awesome. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days in-house made desserts. And by the way, all sponsor slots are filled for this season. We thank everyone who is sponsoring Hazen Wildcat Sports. Remember, you can sell it from Swanton to Singapore via the World Wide Web, which we are on, www.hctv.us, channel 16 on your local cable dial, and all these games are archived, of course, on the website, hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call today. Griff on camera. I'm sure as soon as the girls' practice is over, hopefully we'll have Harry up here to chat with us again. He was a fountain of information for us. <laughs> yep. Joe Deacon's down below. There he is. <laughs> People concerned for our welfare up here, Griff. That's nice. That's All good. right. Game about to tip off. I think we're going to hear a lot of Joe Deacons here in the beginning of this game. That's good. Joe, a fixture here at Hazen Union High School for many, many years. Opening tip. Wyatt Bellavance with the chunk upfield. Cody Hall, he was the one who scored in double OT to win that game for the Bullets on a beautiful header off the corner kick. Snuck in behind the defense. Goalie had committed already. Cody hit the header by him. Riker Willette looks to control. Get the ball back to midfield. That's Tyson Davison. Moves up, cleared out by the Raiders, uh, Olympians, excuse me, Olympians defense. Try and match up some names and numbers with these Olympians here. I believe that's Colton Nimi doing his best to fight off Cameron Boardman. Gets it back to Bellavance. Bellavance up ahead. Defense there clears it out. Xavier Bowden with the clear. Goes the opposite side. Out of bounds. Wildcats throw in. Beautiful day for soccer up here today, Griff. We've got overcast skies, but it's kind of warmed up a little bit from this morning. A little yep. bit of a breeze. Not too hot, no sun in your eyes. Yeah, Can't ask for anything better. Spectacular. There are not many other places as spectacular as this to watch soccer, particularly when you're up here on the roof. There's a long shot in. I didn't really see it. I was looking down. There's the... I'd say that was a Cody Hall throw-in. Okay, I was I was looking down. The lovely Liz was walking down below us here. <laughs> that was a Cody Hall throw-in. Okay. Cody Hall throw-in. Yeah, he can some, ding it. He's got some arm. That was Caleb Friend trying to keep the ball in play. Throw-in here, Chase Lund. Looking up ahead. Riker Willette got the head on it. Dan Sweet got the foot. Sweet. Works again, Colton Nimi, cleared out by Julius Rosenthal. Bellavance up ahead. Nimi gives chase. That's going to get cleared out just barely by Bowden. Nimi with him. Here's Cody. Puts a shot on wide. That is some exciting stuff to have all our sponsor slots for the season filled now. If you want to uh, sponsor Hazen Sports, you better get in on basketball season pretty quick. <laughs> exactly. That's huge. <laughs> and I'll tell you, Griff, I've had a number of people come up and tell me how jealous they are that we get to come up here on top of the Industrial, industrial Arts Building and watch the games from up here. Well, that's why we videotape it, so you get a chance to, too. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Rosenthal tries to clear out. Again, sweet, sweet turnaround. Back out by Rosenthal. Wyatt Bellavance up ahead. Baker gives chase. Cleared out by the defense. Josh Byfield. 
Nimi, midfield over to Davison. Davison looking across. Pitches up ahead. Cody's got a step. Going to get in there. There's Wyatt giving chase, trying to make the turn. Goalie can't quite make the play. Goalie Cole Nanopoulos. Trying his best to keep the ball out of the net. Goal kick, Olympians. Nimi up ahead. Cody with the header looking for Baker. Baker in the middle. Can't quite get the play on it. Cleared out by Fifield. It's Anthony Patrick on the far side, number three for Hazen, trying to keep it in play. Throw in, Davison. Davison up ahead to Baker. The butcher, the Baker. Goes the middle, Cody oh, can't quite to get the turn and the foot on it. Beautiful feed from Baker. Cody was open in front of the net, couldn't quite get the turn he wanted to get the solid foot on it, ended up popping it up in the air. But what an opportunity that was. Beautiful play. Rosenthal gives chase. Patrick up ahead, Davison. Tyson Davison. Willette trying to make the play. Caleb Friend there as well. Bellavance. That's a chip. A rare chip from Wyatt Bellavance. He's usually more into the chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Rosenthal up ahead. Here's Caleb Friend. Nimi back. Nice, nice play. Friend. Caleb Friend. Center. Davison had a step. Couldn't quite catch up with it. Boy, the boys are uh, really moving the ball well today, Griff. Nice they, passes. Yeah, really, really good so far. Almost reminiscent of, of the way Fairfax played in the first half with their short passing game. Yep. Those short, crisp, crisp patterns, almost to an area as opposed to player. Players there. First-year coach Kyle Bursing looking to build off that big win over the Fairfax Bullets. I think the only game that's been played since then is our uh, Lady Cats lost to PA at Morrisville by a score of 5-1, to one, but it was a really good game. They held their own. Other than a short period in the second half where the wheels sort of came off a little bit, PA scored a couple of quick goals. It, it was a decent decent showing for the girls. Willette over to Friend. Caleb Friend tries to sneak it past Chase Lund. Looking inside, back out. That'll be a throw-in. And we will get to test the arm strength of one Cody Hall on this throw-in. Middle of the field, looking for Baker. Gets it over his head, right to the goalie. Nanopolis. Nice turnaround by Davison. Oxbow player there. Clears it out. I believe that was Carter Allen. <laughs> Gets it over to Chase Lund. Moving up ahead. Dan Sweet had a step on the defense for a second. Playing over here in the corner. It's Lincoln Mitchett. Throw in. Off the end line, we'll have a Hazen goal kick. Rosenthal with the goal kick for your Hazen Union Wildcats. 32-30, left to play in the first half. No score yet. Hazen with a couple of nice opportunities that they could have capitalized. First time we've really had to drop back and play a whole lot of defense so far. Ball up ahead. Davison, nice chip over to Bellavance. Bellavance can't quite get it past Dan Sweet. Lincoln Mitchell will. He lifts it up over everybody. Nice play. Over to Tyson. Tyson, back to Patrick. 
Baker here at midfield. On the outside, Davison going to look to cross. Beautiful pass in there to Baker. Patrick crosses. Cody gets a head on it. Wide. Wide. Very impressed with the boys passing today. From where they took over the ball down on the other end of the field to the shot that came right in front of the goal. Man, that was that was something else. That as, was as Coach Harry, Harry Bissett would say, they were patient, made some good passes, good plays, got in there to a high percentage shot. Just couldn't quite get it past Nanopolis. Right back, Baker can't quite get the foot on it. There's Nimi, Colton Nimi, Baker. Baker, nice little chip up ahead. Cleared out by Xavier Bowden. Cody Hall, long throw. Baker going to try and get the head on it wide. Tried to direct that one in. Couldn't quite get the angle. Josh Fifield with the goal kick for the Olympians. High to our side. That's going to land out of bounds. Riker Willett. Throw. Cody trying to get something towards the middle there. Ooh. Can't get it by Zach Kane, though. Zach Kane. Whoa. Forearm shiver to the back. Colt Nimi by Carter Allen. That was that looked a little rough. Did you get that, Griff? Yeah, trading some paint out there. Huh? Yeah. Nimi puts a shot on. Oh, Baker. Isaiah Baker, if he could have got a foot on that, that would have gone in. Anopolis is out. Baker snuck in behind him. Oh, just a glorious opportunity right there. Yeah, Carter Allen just throwing a forearm shiver into the back of Colton Nemes. They were right here, right down in front of us. See what happens here. Great uh, maturity by Colton, though, not to retaliate because, as we know, it's the retaliator who always gets caught. <laughs> That's right. So, Baker up ahead. Cody, turn. Tries to get it into Baker, trying to sneak through the defense. Can't quite get it. Nichols plays that one back to Bowden. Riker Willette trading a little paint with Chase Lund now. Ahead, Cody inside, cleared out. Rosenthal keeps it in the offensive end. Here we go. Wow, those two would have collided. Zach Kane, I think, is one of the few players on the field that can match up with Wyatt Bellavance. And if those two collide, we'd have heard that up here. What do they call it? The something force against the immovable object? <laughs> yeah, the unstoppable force. It's against the immovable object. Bellavance over here. Cody on his horse trying to keep that one in. Does. Keeps it in. Trying to get the turn. Clears across. Baker open right in front. Gets shot on. Goal! We've seen that a bunch of times. Nice crossing path from the outside by Cody Hall. Baker open, wide open in front. Gives the Wildcats the early 1-0 lead with 27.56 left to go here in the first half. And wouldn't you know it, it was Isaiah's dad, Mike Demand Baker, who gave me a pen on my way up here <laughs> so I can keep track of the goal. And I get to mark one right by his son's name. That's got to be cool. <coughs> Olympians tip off, trailing now 1-0. See if the Cats can capitalize, build this lead up. Cody moves inside against Bowden. Shot on. 
Save Nanopolis. That's a cool name for a goalie. Cole Nanopolis. <laughs> He's been tested this he game, is. and uh, yes. he's looked pretty good. Free kick for the Cats. Comes up, lands in the box. Nice play over. Davison tried to get a foot on that. Oxbow, goal, kick. Wyatt chips back to Patrick. Lincoln Mitchin up ahead. Nimi trying to get the turnaround, can't get there. Wyatt moving against Carter Allen. Allen goes down. Here's Nimi up ahead to Baker. Baker goes down. We've got a whistle. We're going to have a kick. Not quite in the box. I don't think he was. So we're not going to get a penalty kick. Baker. Shot on save. Nanopolis. Low punt. Oxbow player got a foot on it. The mini shopper out to play that one up. Middle of the field, dangerous. Chunked back in. Oh, and this Hazen defense got a scramble. Patrick trying to get over there. Rosenthal, Julius Rosenthal. Nice defensive pay. play by Julius Caesar Rosenthal. <laughs> Chase Lund gives chase, can't keep up with it. Willette, Riker with the long throw. Bowden clears it back out, trying to move it up. Here's Rosenthal, coming way up the field. Colton Nimi over to Cody. Cody trying to redirect over to Caleb Friend. Here's Wyatt, he'll shoot from way outside. And it goes way over. Wyatt will shoot from anywhere on the field. Oxbow, goal kick. Like I said, we got to come up with something more exciting than these goal kicks to get this ball back into play. I don't know what. Baker, over to Cody. Cody back in, put your shot on, wide. He wants to kick it from the other side to Zach Kane. Up. Little shopper. Way back. Says, get that out of my house. Davison, uh, Cody Hall working against Bowden. Both players give chase. Here's Colton Nimi. Takes a shot from outside. That's going to curl. Save Monopolis. 23 minutes left to go here in the first half. Rosenthal puts the head on it. Finn Rooney here on the near side. Gets it across. There's Davison. Gets a shot on. Up and over. Finn Rooney makes his presence known. Try and refrain from too many. Uh, Ferris Bueller's day off. <laughs> Nine times. All right, Finn Rooney trying to control. 
Oxbow defense not really stepping up to challenge Finn a whole lot. Patrick on the near side, turnaround. I believe that's Cameron Boardman. If I can see the number eight over there. Cleared up by Carter Allen. Bellavance. Out of bounds. I believe we'll have a white throw. Carter Allen with the throw. Rosenthal. Clears up. Ball ricochets off a couple of Oxbow players. Goes right to Colton Nimi. Nice play. I believe that was Josh Fifield. A nice play to knock that ball down. Lincoln over to Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney. Rooney in the corner. Clears, tries to get it in the middle. Oh, ball rolls right through. Everybody, nobody there to capitalize. I think everybody was surprised the way that ball sort of trickled right across there. Rosenthal baggers, Riker Willett way up ahead. Cody, he was on side, working against Bowden. Xavier Bowden, Cody Hall going at it here on the near side. Cody Hall, long throw. Turn around. I believe that's Reed Keeler in the middle now. Corner kick, the most exciting play in soccer. It was pretty exciting last game. It sure was. Colton Nimi. Corner, that one gets by. Bounces back out. Played up ahead. Here's Rosenthal. Carter Allen working against Rosenthal. Allen goes down. We're going to have a whistle. Going to give the white kick. Carter Allen looking to make something happen for the Olympians. With 20 minutes left, once again, Lance Hall with the call for Hardwood Community Television, HCTV. Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, in-house made desserts. Once again, a big thank you for our sponsors. Ball goes to the middle. Well, that's a big kick up. Cody and Bowden going at it. Cross field, Tyson Davison will give chase. Tyson Davidson, yeah, telling him to carry it. There's nobody around him. Probably could have dribbled into the varsity girls' practice and nobody would have contested him. Wyatt Bellavance up ahead. Cody Davidson looking over for Reed Keeler. Ball bounces behind the defense. Taken out by Josh Fifield. Reed Keeler with a shot on high. Reed Keeler. A sophomore for the Wildcats. <laughs> Goal kick. Davison down. Keeler. Cleared out once again by Fifield. Cats once again lead 1-0. Off a beautiful play by Isaiah Baker, the butcher, the baker, the goal maker. Far side, corner kick. I believe that's Keeler over there. Ball across. And headed down. And clear. Oh, wow. That was Davison. Got the head on it. And I believe that was Fifield that actually made the save on that ball. That ball was headed in. Finn Rooney. Going against Bryce Isley. Isley. Or Isley. Huckleberry Finn Rooney. <laughs> 
Keeler inside, trickles in. Goal! Reed Keeler gets a shot down. Annapolis still down. I don't know if he took a shot or not. He went down. Reed was right there to capitalize. I don't know if he went in with the first kick and maybe hit something. Annapolis up limping. We may see the other keeper, Dylan Bierce, coming in. Bierce was scheduled to possibly play the second half. Annapolis looks shaken up on the play. 17-26 left to go in the first half. Your Hazen Union Wildcats up 2-0. No call by the referee, so I'm assuming nothing intentional there. Just playing the game. Clock stopped, and it looks like, yes, I'm going to have to assume this is Dylan Bierce going in, who was, once again, they were going to put him in the second half. Cole Nanopoulos shaken up on that last goal by Reed Keeler. And this has got to be hard, Griff. You know, you're coming in as a, as a keeper. You know, you're not really warmed up at all. It's not like you're a relief pitcher where you've been out in the bullpen throwing or, you know, even in the NFL throwing a few balls on the sideline. you got to go in cold and just go in there and play goal now. Yeah, I, I saw these guys. I think usually they'll warm up both goalies just, just, yeah. just in case. Um, but, yeah, he's been sitting for, you know, half an hour now. Finn Rooney gets the foot in on Chase Lund. Infraction called. Chase Lund going to take the free kick for the Olympians. Olympians looking to close this gap. Cats up two zip. Near side, Zach Kane. The big red machine, Kane. Cody Hall moving up. Looks for Rooney. Rooney. Wants to give and go with Cody. Cody getting by. Almost stuck around Bowden. Well, that's back up ahead. Kane right to Cody. Cody tries to get by. Kane stays with him. Here's Wyatt's Bellavance. The always dangerous shoot from anywhere. Wyatt Bellavance, score! Goal! Did I not call it or did I not call it, Griff? Wyatt Bellavance can shoot from anywhere on the field. And we talked about a goalie coming in cold, you know. Uh, Dylan Beers, you wonder if the reflex is just a little slow. He's not right up to game speed yet. I don't know. He got hands on he got it, hands but it wasn't on enough. It wasn't enough. Wyatt Bellavance with the goal. Cats up three zip now. 16-15 left to go in the first half. Tip, Olympians. Olympians looking to create something here. Get something going in this first half. Down three zip. Cats have pretty much kept it the majority of the game right up here in our end. And out on the field for the Cats, number seven, MacDonald Lamphere. One of my favorite people of all time. I am the unofficial president of the official Mac Lamphere fan club. Oh, Lamphere had the ball go right underneath him. I would have I, I would have jumped off the roof to go down and congratulate him if he'd have scored on that. Just a golden opportunity for Mac Lamphere. Rosenthal. Far side. Is that Baker? Gets his feet tangled up a little bit, goes down. Olympians. <laughs> Olympians. 
Clear goes down, feed over, looking for Keeler back. Wyatt Bellavance playing it back to Rosenthal. I think Julius will shoot it from here now. <laughs> Chip. Caleb Friend tries to move inside. Ball back. Coming up, Carter Allen. That's Bryce Isley. Was he offside, I believe? Looked like he was offside from when I looked down. Is that the call? Looked like he had a couple of steps. Are they going to call? Well, even in the end, it's an offsides. Julius Rosenthal. Up ahead, Baker. Over far side, Caleb Friend. Trying to play it back in, Baker. Pitches back out to Keeler. Keeler going to look to cross. Ball trickles across. Zach Kane. Over to Boardman. Back out. Boardman was looking for uh, Ilsley. Here's Finn Rooney. Got to step on the defender. Puts a shot on wide. Finn Rooney had worked around Bowden. Goal kick. Finn Rooney back over. Colton Nimi is looking across. Wow, the little shopper way out of his goal. Spinning kick up to Baker, knocks it down. Here's Keeler. Turnaround. Colton Nimi plays it over to who is that? Number five, Ethan. Uh, it says Ethan Choplin, but I don't, I'm going to have to get it because Ethan Choplin is in goal. I don't know who our number five is. I can't quite tell from this vantage point. <coughs> Caleb Friend trying to cross. Working. Gets the ball over, Mack Lampier down, Keeler in, ball up, and out of bounds. Goal kick. If the corner kick is the most exciting play in soccer, I think the goal kick is the most boring play in soccer. Yes, yeah. Nothing happened off a of goal kick. Yeah, yeah. It's Other just than calms yeah. the game down. It's, it's kind of like an intentional walk, you know? <laughs> yep. It's just there. Boardman moving up ahead. Maybe if they put our number five over on this side of the field at some point, I can see who it is because I have absolutely zero clue who that could be. Ball trick of Zeus save. Dylan Bierce. Once again, starting goalie Cole Nanopoulos shaken up on a goal involving Isaiah Baker. It was Wyatt Bellavance putting in a goal. And Reed Keeler with a goal as well. Forgot to mark down the goals. I think I remembered them. Isaiah Baker, Reed Keeler, and Wyatt or uh, no, it was a goal with Reed where uh, Nanopolis got shaken up. 10-15 left to go in the first half. Your Hazen Union Wildcats up by a score of 3-0. Soccer action from Hudson Fields, Hardwick, Vermont, Hazen Union High School. Top of the Industrial Arts Building. Lance Hall with the call along with Griff Lucier on Camera. Vin Rooney trying to go back outside. <laughs> Let's 
subs coming in. And we have numbers out there that are not on my sheet. So I'm going to have to look, see uh, what's in here. I don't know if we've got some JV players out there now, or Kyle's just trying to mess me up. And unfortunately, I don't have a JV roster. program. I know number 18, his first name is Bruce. His last name escapes me. I think it's Fortman. Okay. Heck of a musician. <coughs> yes. Fabulous musician. Pet band member. Yeah. I'm still a little lost on number five, but he's playing his uh, heart out over there on the far side. <laughs> Throw in Oxbow. Out of bounds. What are we going to have, Griff? Your a, favorite thing. A goal kick. My daughter Joey down below us. Maybe I'll see if she can tell me who our number five is. I'll shoot her a quick text during this goal kick. Middle of the field. Turn around Keeler. Bruce trying to move it up. Ball across. Rosenthal gives chase. Throw in Oxbow. Ball a mile high up in the air. Throw in Oxbow. As I continue to try and solve the mystery of who is number five for the Cats. Shot. Save Shopland. the far side. I believe this is Caleb Friend going to make the throw in. Uh, number five is Aiden Neal. All right. Mystery solved. Yes. Shot up ahead, there's Cody, he's gonna step on, he's gonna get in, put the shot on! Goal! Cody Hall on a beautiful breakaway. Nice feed up through there. Gets it by Beers, puts the Cats up for nothing. Cats just having their way with these Olympians today. Four goals here in the first half. 5.38 still to play in the first half. And, uh, the Olympians going to have to try and do something here. Down four zip. Cats in control most of the game. The Olympians have had a couple of opportunities on the backside here, but Julius Rosenthal has been playing outstanding defense back here. Any attempts that they've come down, he has stymied, thwarted, Bam nullified. Boozled. Bamboozled. <laughs> nullified. 
long throw. I believe that was Lincoln Mitchett with the throw in there. Ball down, midfield, kick up high. Aiden Neal with the header. Number five for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Cross. Ball up. Bruce Fortman, we think. Give chase. Here's Colton Nemi. Turnaround shot up ahead. Cody's going to turn around, put the shot in. Goal! Cody Hall, two in a row. Within about a minute now. To put the Cats up 5-0, 4-28. Left to go here in the first half. Cody Hall, his second goal of the game. Third of the season. The junior. Who Griff, I made a very disturbing uh, observation in Cody's uh, room today. Uh huh. When I went up there to... Uh, check to see if there are any towels laying around. I was going to put in a, a load of towels in the wash. Okay. I found. This could go a lot of places, Lance. Ball goes off the end line. Where are we going to have? We're going to have a goal kick. I found a several cherry Coke cans. Empty cherry Coke cans. Okay. Cherry Coke is mine, Griff. Oh. Nobody drinks the cherry Coke in our house but me. Uh-oh. And, uh... Going to have the most exciting play in all of soccer. Colton Nimi crosses save. Dylan Bierce. Yeah. So there's going to be some splaining to do. Uh, well, I've already spoken to him once. As I was coming across the field before the game, he was walking across midfield. And he happened to be standing back here for a drill. And I just kind of threw out a, uh, you know, Cody Hall, I observed several uh, cherry Coke cans in your room. I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> He tried to explain that they were from a long time ago. <laughs> well, then he's in even bigger trouble because he's not supposed to have them up there for that long. <laughs> so, Cody Hall can score 10 goals. He's still going to be in the doghouse with me <laughs> for drinking my cherry Coke and leaving the cans up in his room. Rosenthal. Ball back behind the defense. Skies out of bounds. Almost up to the top of the bank. Throw in. Long throw, Cody. Looking over. Reed Keeler. Nice spin move to get by. Headed down. Ball still in there. Bruce. Bruce. With the shot up high. Yeah, I've seen Bruce drum. I've seen him play piano. Uh, really? Yeah. Was sitting in there one time getting ready for a coffee house or something. And uh, he goes on the piano and starts banging away. And I recognize it too. And I'm like, Bruce, what is that? He says, sweet child of mine. He's doing a killer version of it on piano. I saw Bruce play the drums for the uh, the musical at the Highland Center for the Arts mm -hmm. that was put on by the Hazen Drama Club. Um, the Newsies. Yep. And that is a long uh, play to play the drums for the entire yeah. time. You Shot gotta, high by Colton Nemi. You got to be in shape. Yeah. 140 left to go here in the first half. Olympians just looking to maybe get out of here and regroup for the second half and try and get something going here. You got to wonder if we're going to continue to see Dylan Beers or if Cole Ninopoulos will come back out in the second half. Here's Cody jumping all over that goal kick. Turn, looking ahead over on the far side. Goalie goes down. Uh, and I have no number 13 on our roster. I'm going to have to find out that one as well. Can't quite tell from my vantage point. Rare that we can't match up names and numbers for our own players, but we're obviously seeing, I believe, some JV players getting a little action today. That's right. This is a game that did not have a JV game, game. accompanied with it. Right. So with a five-zip lead, why not get them in, you know? 40 seconds left to go in the first half.
25 seconds. Griff, you're going to love this one. A plethora of goals scored here <laughs> in the first half. That's one of my favorite words ever. Shot up, save Bierce. Kind of a funny little shot there. A plethora of goals. Now we'll end the first half with your Hazen Union Wildcats up with a commanding lead of five zip. Isaiah Baker, Reed Keeler, Wyatt Bellavance scoring a goal apiece. Cody Hall with two to give him the 5 0 lead here at beautiful Hudson Fields in downtown Hardwick, Vermont, Hazen Union High School. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16. On your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621. Open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days, in-house made desserts. We want to thank our sponsors today, and once again, thanking all of our sponsors that we now have lined up for all the rest of the soccer games this season. Start booking now for basketball, because once again, you can sell it from Swanton to Singapore here on Hardwick Community Television, because we are on the World Wide Web. Griff, shall we be back for the second half? I wouldn't miss it for the world. We'll see everybody then. We are about one minute away from second half action here at beautiful Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys in action today against the Oxbow Olympians. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. I want to thank our sponsors today. Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days in-house made desserts. Griff on camera. Hazen Union Wildcats boys up by a score of 5 to nothing, courtesy of goals by Isaiah Baker, Reed Keeler, Wyatt Bellavance, and Cody Hall chipping in two to make it 5 nothing. And we saw it, Griff, in the beginning of the of the game. The, the Cats were moving the ball really well, hitting some passes and everything. It just looked like it was only a matter of time. And then once the floodgates opened, they opened. Yep, that's, that's definitely true. It's also tougher to play defense when you're behind because you kind of have to take a more aggressive strategy, let's say, uh, to try and get back into the game. And when that happens and your defense is trying to move up to help out and stuff, it's a lot easier to start falling far behind. Olympian starting goalie Cole Nanopoulos shaken up on the goal when Reed Keeler scored, but I did see him out on the field at halftime working with the uh, the goalie Dylan Bierce, who was slated to play the second half of this game, according to Coach Andrew Fisher when I talked to him uh, before the game. Once again, Olympians come in with a record of 0-1. They lost 2-1 to to Danville in their last in their opening. Um, <coughs> Cats come in here with a record of 1-1. One one. They lost their season opener down at PA and then won their home opener in dramatic fashion once again in double overtime with 124 left to go. In fact, in the second overtime, and the scorer of the winning goal, none other than Cody Hall. So Cody continues a torrid scoring pace. He's got three for the season. Isaiah's got at least two, maybe three. Nice to see Wyatt Bellavance getting a goal. Reed Keeler, sophomore, getting one. Balanced scoring, we'd call it, Griff, right? That's what you want. Yeah. Also, all of these goals, you know, most of them haven't been, uh, you know, just one player running through a bunch of defenders and scoring. They've really yeah. been all a team effort. Been a result of some great passing, great assists. Oxbow looking to clear it out. There's Boardman up ahead. Bellavance keeping that back in. Gets it over to Davison. Davison up to Baker, back out. Tyson Davison. Working on the far side against Brady Nichols. Bellavance. Bellavance. Back in. Making his presence known. Looking for his second goal of the game, maybe. Wyatt, he'll shoot from there. He'll shoot from anywhere. Ball bounces down to Bierce. Bierce clears out. Baker, a little bit of a shove over there, and he's going to get called for that. You can see that. A little bit of a shove on Bowden. Going to give the free kick 
to the Olympians. I haven't seen him yet. I'm hoping Harry Bissett's going to come up. But I'll tell you, this boys coach, first-year coach uh, Kyle Bursting, has got to be happy with his team effort today, that's for sure. Absolutely. They've been not just in the score line, but in the way they've been playing. The defense has been really solid, Yep. and the offense has been stringing passes together like crazy. It's awesome. Just a great team game out here. Mack, Lamphere can't quite get the foot on it. Baker gets a half a foot on it. Easy save for Bierce. Mack, Donald Lamphere. And I found out number 13 for the Wildcats is Jaden Baker, younger brother of Isaiah Baker. The fabulous Baker boys out on the field. <laughs> We're going to have a free kick for the Cats. Nimi looking up ahead. Bowden clears that one out. Turn around. Zach Kane gets it up to Boardman. Chips it back. Carter Allen looking to make something happen here. Allen moves up ahead. Cameron Boardman working against Riker Willette. Let not letting him in. Boardman going to have the throw. Looks ahead. Dan Sweet. Back to Boardman. Boardman, long cross. He was looking for Chase Lund in the middle of the field. That was uh, Brady Nichols that came crashing in. Tyson Davison. There's uh, Aiden Neal was number five for us. Moving the ball up, Baker in the corner. Davison gives chase, working against Bowden. Bowden kicks it out. Long shot from outside wide, taken by Colton Nini. Goal kick, Bierce up ahead. Ouellette goes through that beautifully. Caleb Friend looking to settle. Back around, spinning. Can't quite get it by Matthew Hayes. Bellavance, middle of the field, working against Kane. Gets it over to Davidson. Davidson back to Bellavance. Kane on him. Baker with the header over. Tyson chases in the corner. Tyson, Bellavance, Wyatt, Bellavance. Here's Riker Willett. A little confusion there between him and Colton Nemi as to who wanted to take that. Willett lines up, puts a shot on just wide. Saved by Bierce. Brady Nichols. Brings the ball up for the Olympians. Aiden Neal, well, there's some paint being traded over there. Nichols and Neal going at it. Brady Nichols throw in. Shot, middle, taken out with authority by Lincoln Mitchin. Brady Nichols throw, Boardman. Working against Rosenthal. I think we'll start calling him Julius the Wall Rosenthal. He is just a wall of defense out there. I approve, I like it. He's done really, really well today. Yes, he has. Out of bounds. <laughs> Hazen, goal kick. <laughs> Rosenthal, long kick, middle of the field. Kane comes in, goes in against Colton Nemi, tries to get the hit on it. Here's Caleb Friend looking to settle things down. Back, Lincoln Mitchett. 
ahead. He was looking for MacDonald Lampier. Throw in here on the near side. Carter Allen looking ahead. Boardman. Willette has it go off himself. Carter Allen. Illegal throw. I don't know. I thought he brought his hands back. What did you see that, Harry? I missed it. Lance, good to see you. Good to see you, Harry Brissett, up here now for second half action. I'm joining late, but things look positive for Hazen. It sure has been. It's been a fantastic team effort. Griff and I were talking at the start of the half. Excellent. Boys move the ball extremely well in the first half. A lot of the goals that come off of great pass, assist. Good. And uh, it's, I think this would be uh, Harry Brissett approved. Glad to a hear Harry it. Brissett approved effort right here. I look forward to seeing the last 31 minutes with you. Look forward to having you up here. It's the varsity girls down there all giving you the big wave. Yep, we're getting fired up for our game tomorrow against Enosburg. It should be a good one. I'm going to make the trek up to Enosburg for that one. And I haven't seen you since then, but I thought uh, in the game last week against PA, despite the score being 5-1, I thought the girls held themselves together pretty well in that game. They did great. They uh, showed a ton of heart in the first half, and it's a... Uh, we're letting it, we're, we're turning off for a minute and we're getting punished for it, but if you look at the whole 40 minutes, we really played really well. Yep. You had uh, about a 10 minute span there in the second half where I believe it was number 12 kind of had her way with you guys. Second half was different than the first half. Second yeah. half, uh, first half we came out, we were fired up, we had a lot of heart, uh, and we played really well, we played well as a team, took it to them, frustrated them, we were the more physical team, uh, and we got more out of the game despite being down. Yeah. Uh, but the second half, they came out more physical. Uh, their number 12 was a very talented player. Yeah. Um, and she was able to run through us. But but once she scored those goals, then you guys seemed to settle back in. And I thought the second half of the second half played pretty decent. Yes. The sort of final so quarter. It didn't really it fall apart, you know, after going down those more goals. Right. We didn't, we didn't, we, uh, we didn't implode. We were yes. able to, kind of got to it back stop, together. Pull, our, pull ourselves back together, toughen up, dust yourself off, and then. Yep. Look forward Get back to into it. getting up to Enosburg tomorrow to see you, girl, see you guys, guys, yep. girls, whatever it is I'm trying to say here. <laughs> the team, the team play in search of that elusive first victory yet, yeah, but I'm sure they're going to come, and once they come, there's going to be many. Here's Baker. Ball trickled through. Oh, he chipped it far ahead. Got a little too much of that front dribble on it. Dylan Beer is able to make the save. Throw out. Here's Wyatt Bellavance. Caleb Brent. Near side. Nice to get it through Matthew Hayes. Back out by Carter Allen. So who's been leading the scoring for the Wildcats? The Wildcats have scoring efforts from Isaiah Baker, Reed Keeler, Wyatt Bellavance, each with one, and Cody Hall with two goals. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. Must have learned it from his dad. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Good. I, I was a terror on the playground. I never played varsity <laughs> sports, but I was a terror on the playground. Well, it's good to see a... Uh a wide range of goal scorers. That's crazy. what Griff and I were saying in the, in the, in the, with the team effort thing. There's right. been some great pass in there uh, spreading the scoring around. Yep, that's a, that's a great that's sign of health for see. the whole team. Yep. The more scores you can have, the more you're going to score, right? Right. Shot down. Caleb Friend tries to settle that one down. Trickles through. Played out. See another corner. Josh Fifield just got that one out. Yes, the most exciting play in all of soccer, Harry. That's right. Corner kick. And I've decided the most boring play in all of soccer is the goal kick. <laughs> goal kick is just like, it's like the intentional walk in baseball. Yes. You know? but Let's just get it into play. Goal kicks have the potential for the odd mistake where you just accidentally, if you don't do a good job, if you don't focus. Off the bar! 
up in the air. Oh, I believe that was. I'm trying to see who that was. Was it Tyson Davison? Yeah, Tyson Davison got the head on it. Went off the crossbar. Yeah, I have seen some stuff come off of goal kicks, but. The odd miss kick from the, well, usually not intentionally, the odd right. goal kick that just kind of trickles to the other team and then leads to a quick opportunity for them can be really yeah. sort of uh, yep. heart and throats moment for the defensive team. As Cody Hall looks across, ball down. He's looking to feed Mac Lamphere. We were trying desperately to get McDonald Lamphere a goal. He, he had a wide open shot in the first half. Couldn't get a foot on it. Oh, bless his heart. All he would have had to have done was tap it. The Wildcats bench is twice as big as I saw in the last game. <laughs> there's been a few. With no JV game, there's, we're seeing some JV players like right here. Bruce Fortman coming in. Good. Uh, Aiden Neal has been playing, and uh, Jaden Baker has been out onto the field as well. Good. For the Wildcats. So now with him and Isaiah out there, we have the fabulous Baker boys. Excellent. Well, it's great to see some rotation and get to see them get a chance at a Exactly, get them some game, you know, live what game experience like. at a varsity yep. level. Yep, they'll learn, they'll learn as much from this as they will from five practices. 26-39 and counting, left to go in your ball game. Cats up five zip. Balanced scoring was the word I was looking for. Yes. Uh, little Shopper back here has made, I don't know, maybe a save or two. Made a couple of, got a couple of kicks, but Rest of the time, he's been hanging out down there like the Maytag repairman. <laughs> There's nobody in sight. Olympians haven't gotten much of an offensive effort. They've been playing a lot of defense this game. Nimi goes over. There's Davison on the far side. Mack trying to get the foot on it. Turn around. Finn Rooney right there. Mack Lamphere once again. Can't quite get it in. Aiden Neal on the far side. Plays it back across. Another exciting thing for us, uh, Harry, all these sponsorship slots for all the games have now been sold. Excellent. So we have sponsors Excellent. for every home game. Thank you, Hardwick community members, for supporting Absolutely. your local sports. Fantastic thing. Bierce has it ricochet off. Davison plays it back. Here's Neal high up in the air. Fortman going to try and get a foot on it. Turn. Fortman shoots. Easy save for Beers. The other thing we've seen, Harry, is a lot of high percentage in the box shots. You know, I think Cody had one breakaway. Wyatt did take a shot from outside, went off of Beers' hands and in. But Wyatt's got a foot on him. I think he could shoot from anywhere. <laughs> it's nice to have those players for that odd opportunity. And here's the Olympians with the best opportunity they've had yet. With a goal is uh, that was Bryce Ilsley, or Isley, Ilsley, getting by the Hazen defense, and a rare breakdown on the Wildcat boys defense. And he gets in all alone on Choplin, puts it past him, makes a score 5-1, 24-47. These Olympians not going down easily here. Yep. I figure if they're going to make that long drive up from Bradford, they're going to make it worth their while. <laughs> What well, was done well by Hazen there was they conceded a goal, which is never good. But they didn't panic. They could have also gone down, tried to slide tackle from behind, gotten a red card, and really put themselves in a tough situation. When you're up 5 0, it's more important to stay composed and play smart. Give your keeper a chance to take it on, then do some crazy slide tackle from behind, get sent off, and then all of a sudden, one goal scored, down a man for the rest of the game. You put your, put your team in a much tougher situation. So good composure from the defense, even though they made the error to give away the breakaway. Speaking of slide tackles, that was Carter Allen taking out Bruce Fortman. And I saw the referee give him a little bit of a word, whether Allen meant to do it or not. How have Jay our men in yellow been doing tonight? They've been doing well. They haven't Excellent. had to make a whole lot of calls. so uh, Nothing too controversial? No, no. I would say absolutely nothing controversial at all, at least to... Uh, to me yet. Uh, we did see, well, of all people, Carter Allen throw a pretty good forearm shiver into the back of Colton Nimi uh, early in the first half right here below us. And Colton did well, again, to keep composed, not retaliate, because good. as we know, it's the retaliator always gets caught. That's right. 
Um, but uh, I, I don't know if he's doing anything malicious. I think he's just a hard player. Yep. Haven't seen him do a whole lot. But uh, nope. Other than that, I would say it's been a fairly good game. Allen playing keep away from Fortman with Boardman. Allen moves it up. Bryce Ilsley, scorer of the last goal, moving in against the defense again. White kick. And we have named him Julius the Wall Rosenthal. He has been a wall of a defense so far back there. It's important to have. You need some strong central defenders to keep everything organized and just shut down plays. Cameron Boardman with the kick. Will this be direct or indirect, Harry? Uh, the refs aren't indicating now. I believe it's direct. So he can shoot right on goal if he wants to. Yes, but the refs are supposed to point in one direction or hold their hand straight up in the air, I believe. Okay, oh, now yep. we get the hand up yep. in the air. Direct just kick. Signaled, direct kick. Boardman. <laughs> Takes a shot on, up and over. Little shopper had a bead on it. Ball travels high. 22 minutes left to go in your ball game. <laughs> Rosenthal, goal kick, center of the field, played back in by Boardman. Wyatt Bellavance with a nice chip back up. Here's a header. By, I have no number uh, 19, Michael Aldrich is number 19 for the Olympians. Josh Fifield bringing the ball up, wants to go coast to coast. Nimi, turnaround, Finn Rooney looking for Cody in the corner. Can he chase it down before it goes out of bounds? No. And I, I was, we've told the people the last couple times, Harry, from up here you can't really tell, but this corner slopes down at a pretty good angle it does. when you're down on field level. It does. I mean, you stand oh. over where John Sperry is or where the benches are. You look over here, bottom half of the players almost disappear. It drops quite a bit, uh, which can be deceiving. As the ball's rolling that way, it just picks up speed. Bierce with the kick. Aiden Neal trying to get it by Rosenthal. Ball on the far side, turnaround. Brady Nichols gets it up. Rosenthal, the wall of defense. Jaden Baker looking across for Cody. Cody, turnaround. Wants to give and go here. Gets it over. Reed Keeler inside. Finn Rooney trying to get the foot on it. Can't quite get there. Finn Rooney. Reed Keeler. Looking nice to settle, ball moves it over. Space. Just cut it in a little bit too much, but the, the, the idea was there. Cleared out by authority by Fifield. That was a, it was the right pass, it was just a little misdirected by Keeler. He, he put it into that space where the, his winger was coming in. He just put it right in space. It was just a little too tight to the defender, and the defender was able to collect it. But had he pushed it out another couple feet, it was going to be right on the foot of his teammate. We saw that a lot in the first half. They were passing to an area player there, yep. save Bierce, and they were doing it beautifully, just that, beautiful passing. That little through ball into, into space can be so dangerous inside the box and really create a lot of opportunities for you. Bierce, long throw to the outside. Riker Willette trying to get the foot down on that. Turnaround. Carter Allen going to have a white throw. 19 minutes left to go here in your ball game. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Asian University girls coach Harry Bissett up here providing expert commentary as always. Griff on camera, our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Hardwick Village Restaurant. Open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days. In-house made desserts. Go.
Cody Hall throw in. Zach Kane trying to make a play. Fortman there to block that one down. Kane up ahead. Looking ahead. Isley once again. Getting back. Almost beating the defense. Here's Reed Keeler. Played up ahead. Cody over back over to Keeler. Let him just a little too far. Fortman can't quite get the head on it. Allen. Middle of the field. Cameron Boardman. Turnaround. That is Aiden Neal giving chase on the far side. <laughs> Working against Dan Sweets. Sweets on the throw in. No, Sweets not going to do the throw in. We're going to have Zach Kane. Kane, the big red machine. That'll be my WWE reference. <laughs> Finn Rooney. Trying to clear that one out. Car, turn around. There's a shot on goal. Swept up by the Shopper. Shopper, long punt up ahead. Aldrich working on Cody. Cody trying to settle. Gets it back to Fortman. Fortman looking down. Cody, if he can come down and get a turn. Plays it ahead beautifully. Caleb Friend right there. Looking across. Gets it across. Had Keeler. Ooh. That was... <laughs> A near, you can see Brady Nichols saying, whoo, thank you, Dylan Bierce, for saving my bacon there. <laughs> Almost scored on his own goalie trying to clear that out. There's nothing more frustrating when you accidentally put a ball past your own keeper. And he is, it was a great debt of gratitude to his own goalie for keeping that out of the net. Absolutely. Saving his blushes. What makes you feel worse, though, May trying to make a play and having it go in or missing the play and have your opponent score on you? Or is it about equal? It's better to put the effort in. Okay. But it's a heart-sinking feeling to know that it is. you are responsible for putting your team down one more goal. Yeah. Bruce Fortman, over across, Reed Keeler. Moving in against Nichols. Keeler, Finn Rooney there to get a foot on it. Back to Caleb Friend. Caleb Friend puts a shot on from outside. Slow roller. Was that a shot? Was that intended to be a shot, or do you think that was supposed to be a pass to a runner that wasn't there? Either or. You had Jaden Baker over on the far side. Might have been looking for him. Aldrich back, Finn Rooney block. Finn Rooney moves inside. Oh, Finn Rooney once again. Shot on, blocked out by the defense. Finn Rooney moves it in. Wide open. Finn Rooney, go! Finn Rooney. Cats up 6-1. Finn was just a whirling dervish here, not wanting to give up on things. <laughs> Snuck around the defense. They kept giving him chances, and he kept trying to pass it, and finally said, I'm just going to put this Take ball on my foot and put, put it, it right in that net. 14-44 left to go in your ball game and counting. There's Finn Rooney. Pushes the lead back up to 5-6-1. Here for your Hazen Union Wildcat boys. Once again, girls playing in action tomorrow night against uh, Enosburg. Yes, sir. The boys travel this coming Friday the 13th to Danville. And I hear there's a full moon this Friday as well. Really? A full moon on Friday the 13th. Here's Hope Isley moving Hopefully up. that'll be a good omen for the Wildcats. Let's hope. Long shot over. Shoplin, we're going to have a goal kick. 14 minutes left to go in your ball game. Rosenthal up ahead. Caleb Friend down with it. Playing against Boardman. Here's Fortman. Moving out. Matthew Hayes breaking that up with Fortman. Nichols. Aiden Neal trading a little paint. Chris Roy up ahead for the Olympians. Wyatt Bellavance with the chip 
outside. That was a chip. I think that was a chunk. <laughs> it was definitely a chunk when Wyatt scored. <laughs> a brilliant chunk. Here's Reed Keeler. On the far side, ball outs. Jaden Baker with the corner kick. Bruce Fortman, Mac Lamphere, Finn Rooney, Caleb Friend, Reed Keeler down here in the offensive end for the Cats. Baker and Fortman trying to get a foot on it. Here's Keeler. Keeler back out. Baker looking to set something up. Finn Rooney, oh, goal! Finn Rooney, just a glancing shot. And now Finn Rooney has two goals there. Did that go off a, an Oxbow defensive player? I think that he flung his toe at it, missed it, might have caught it with the spike on the bottom of his cleat. But just, it was just barely enough to sneak it by. The placement was good enough where it was past the goalkeeper's foot. He wasn't able to deflect it out of bounds, and it snuck inside the post. And I'll ask you, Harry, uh, there was some great patience on that play by the Wildcats, you know, to send it back out, bring it in, send it back. But the Oxbow defense just didn't seem all that aggressive either, in my opinion. Is that yours? I Would was you share surprised. that opinion? Uh, I was a little surprised that they gave him so much time. It almost became a set play for uh, the Wildcats. They had so much time to just sit there on the box and really let his players move around, but then... Oxbow didn't step out to pressure the ball, but then they also didn't mark up inside the box. Rooney was kind of hanging on that back post, no one within six feet. Finn Rooney with two goals now for the Wildcats. 7-1 is your score. 11-26 left to go in the ball game. Jaden Baker on the far side. That one headed out by the Oxbow player. Shot. Isaiah Baker on. Save Bierce. Thought of a comparison for you. Last game we were talking about uh, my opinion on shots from, like, Six yards outside the box. Right. Like that one there. I uh, thought a good comparison would be like a half-court shot in basketball. Right. If you inbound the ball and you're in the middle of the second quarter and there's four minutes left. You don't throw up the Hail Mary. You don't. If you don't have to hail up, throw up the Hail Mary. Right. It's, you're sometimes you're just throwing away possession. Uh, that's kind of, you saw what, that's what happened in that play. It was just right down the middle, went to the keeper. Sometimes you're going to make the highlight reel, but if you're not under a lot of pressure to do something desperate, and if you aren't, well practiced. If you right. can score in the upper corner every single time, then go for right. it. But unless you're doing that every time, it's you're tossing away possession. 10-25 and counting left to go in the ball game today. Next home game will be Monday the 16th. The Varsity Boys once again in action against uh, Northfield slash Williamstown. They are like a co-team now, right? Northfield and Williamstown. I believe team. they merged. And then the girls are in action, I believe, here at home next Wednesday. We Next Wednesday, the 25th, we play Richford at 4.30. We will face Richford first Saturday. No, it wouldn't be the 25th. It would be the... Uh, Oh, that's your next home game. Next home game. Okay, Wednesday next home 25th. game. Okay. We play Wednesday the 11th at Enosburg, Saturday the 14th at, at Richford. Richford. Friday the 20th at Oxbow. Okay. Yep. So next home girls have uh, going on a little bit of a road trip here. Yep, which is all right. We, uh, we're hoping to put on a good show on the road and come back and delight our fans when we get back here. Now, did I hear that Richford has a new field up there and it's turf? Have you heard anything about that? Richford's field was... Uh, in some way deemed unplayable. Something happened, and it's, I think, under construction, but we will be using the uh, fields at Jay Peak as Richford's home fields for this uh, season. I did not know the, where there are soccer fields at Jay Peak? Yep, they've put in a few turf fields, uh, and they've put in, I think, some regular fields also. I'm not sure if we're playing on turf or not, but we'll be playing at the Jay Peak. At Jay Peak Resort? Yep. Hmm. I know they've done some other stuff, not just soccer there. I know they've had some jamborees and big soccer stuff. They've had some uh, ultimate frisbee stuff up there. I don't know if they're doing football up there also, but wow. I think they're trying to open it up and just get a lot of people coming up. And I, what I imagine are very nice facilities. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I've spent some time up at Jay Peak Resort over the last few years with a job I had. And, uh, yeah, anything up there, I went in there, a hockey rink a couple of times. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Very nice. If we're not careful, we're going to have a new sponsor. If we're not careful, we're going to have a new sponsor of Jay Peak. We keep yeah. talking, saying so many nice things about him. Yeah, exactly. I'm just, I'm just surprised. Um, that I, I didn't. I guess I did not realize they had put soccer facilities up there. Yep. Seven fifty-seven left to go in the ball game. Let's talk about our sponsors for this game. Then, our sponsors today, located right here in Greensboro, Vermont, is Willie Store five three three two six two one. Open every day seven a.m. to six p.m. And in beautiful downtown Hardwick, Vermont, the Hardwick Village Restaurant open six a.m. to eight p.m. seven days. In-house made desserts. Cody Hall with a long shot off the po off the bar. Oxbow player gives chase in the corner. This will give the Cats the throw in. 7.22 left. Cody Hall, long throw in the middle of the field. Baker, turn. Cody looking to settle. Can he get it across? Looking to sneak it in. Crosses over. He was looking for Friend. Friend does come up with it. Turnaround. Baker. Middle of the field. Pitches it back to Friend. Friend fiddles and diddles. Can he get the left foot on it? Trying to get the right foot. Friend. Turns. Puts a shot on. And again, you don't see the defense out challenging. I think their hope was just to try to stop him from turning with the ball. He did a good job containing him, but they got to stop him from shooting, too. Throw in Allen. Looking for Ilsley. Colton Nemi back. Ilsley there. Bryce Ilsley has one goal taken down. Yep. We will have a penalty shot. Yes, sir. As uh, who are they going to call it on? They, you know, Lincoln. They, they both kind of came clattering in. Lincoln and, and uh, Colton were both there. Lincoln Richard. Penalty shot by Bryce Ilsley. He has the one lone goal for the Olympians. The shopper. Uh, this is a little bit what I was referencing earlier. Of they just kind of came in out of control. Great save. Shopper makes the save. The That's got to give your team some momentum. Absolutely. Nothing feels better than seeing your goalie make a great save. Nothing kind of boosts your defense's confidence more. But the, the defense just, they weren't used to getting beat, and all of a sudden they were beat, and they came kind of, they came in clumsily, and the ref made the right call. They just kind of went through him instead of staying composed and trying to control the ball. And gave up a penalty kick. But goalie made a great save. Yes, he did. 5.40 left to go in the ball game. Punt out. Cody there to knock that one down. Going the wrong way is Matthew Hayes. Jaden Baker gives chase over in the far corner. Tyson Davison. Middle of the field. Cleared out. Carter Allen working against Wyatt Bellavance. That's... Unlucky. Why it's such a solid kid that when someone bumps into him, it looks like they go flying. But yeah. I, maybe the ref saw him swing his hips a little more than he was supposed to. But it looked shoulder to shoulder to me. Free kick for the Olympians. 4:55 left to go in your ball game. Wyatt Bellavance gets the head on it. Cody Hall up ahead. I think it was probably a good effort by the referee to uh, keep the game from getting too physical. With a scoreline like this, there's uh, no sense. And the worst thing that could happen in this game is for someone to get hurt in the last right. five minutes. Uh, by calling any kind of physical play as a foul, they're just going to keep everybody safe. They're going to just let keep it settled. get to go home, and they'll have full teams to work on whatever they need to work on in practice. It's Cody. Turn around against Fifield. Baker up and over. Isaiah Baker up and over the goal. Four minutes left to go in the ball game. Kick 
kick out. Carter Allen. Brings it up, Nimi. Turn around. Zach Kane up ahead. Here's Boardman giving chase. Ball well, goes the corner. Wyatt Bellavance with him. Wyatt going to get called on that one. Yep. That was yep. an easy one. You can't go through someone's back. Little aggressiveness. 325 left to go in the game. Ball over on the far side, taking out Tyson Davison. Pass up ahead. Too ambitious. Baker working against Fifield. Fifield looks a little frustrated to be stuck in the back at parts of this game. Looks like he wants to just run right up the field and attack the goal himself. Chase Lund. <laughs> 230 left to go in the game. Wyatt Bellavance with the chunk out of bounds, unfortunately. <laughs> that was a chunk. That was a definitely a chunk. And that was a boot. The other word we used, Harry, was a plethora of scoring by the Hazen Union Wildcats. Ooh, today. I, I or I, you know, forgot you guys were up here with the thesaurus. So yeah, we are a couple of walking thesauruses. <laughs> or a plethora of players with goals for the Hazen Union Wildcats today. And uh, it sounds like there's also a plethora of passes to provide possession. There were some and great passes. Positive play. Very solid game for the Hazy Union Wildcats. Looking like they're going to push their record definitely to 2-1. and one. It's the clock winding down. We've got a minute and 35. Once again, I want to thank the fact that all of our games this season for soccer, boys and girls, now have full sponsorship. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621. Shot down up and over. Jaden Baker trying to get that one. We've got a player down over there. That looks like Nichols got tied up with Cody. I, I think or Fifield, did. Josh Fifield. If it's number 13, it's Josh Fifield. Got tangled up with Cody when Cody was trying to get that shot in there. That was a great effort by Hall to make it down that wing and then get the cross off. Um, unlucky the way it played out, but it was a great effort by him. Let's hope he's okay. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days, in-house made desserts. Coach Andrew Fisher trots out on the field to check on Fifield. Once again, if that's number 13, it's Josh Fifield. Their starting goalie got roughed up in uh, the first half on Reed Keeler's goal, ended up going out. Dylan Beers came in. He was scheduled to play the second half in goal. <laughs> he, ended up, he ended up coming in early. Hopefully he'll be all right. Hopefully it's uh, uh, We did see uh, Nanopolis out on the field um, during halftime. So he was looking good. good. And one question I came up here, and maybe you can answer this. You know, I mean, of course you warm up both goalies in warm-ups, but then you're 20, 25, 30 minutes in, all of a sudden your starter gets hurt, your backup's got to come in. It's not like you're a relief pitcher in baseball. You're out there in the, in the bullpen, you're throwing some balls, your football, you're on the sideline, throwing to loosen up a little bit. You come in cold off the bench. It's got to be tough yep. to get up to game speed, reflexes. Yep. Um the nature of a goalie is that you go from being very bored and then all of a sudden things are very exciting, uh, whether you're on the bench or whether you're involved in the game. Yeah. Uh, Hazen's goalkeeper, for example, has been, there's parts where he's been sitting around kind of waiting on his heels, but in an instant he needs to be ready to go in. Right. So part of the nature of being a goalkeeper is being ready to go in an instant and step up for your team. If I feel limping off at the far end over here, looks like he maybe twinned it. Twisted an ankle or something. We'll the, hope he's okay. The most challenging way for that scenario to present itself uh, is if your goalkeeper gives up a red card and a penalty kick. So if they take out someone on a breakaway, they get sent off the field, and all of a sudden your first action is having to try to save a penalty kick. 
yeah. that is just putting an immense amount yeah. of goal, an immense amount of pressure on you from shifting from watching on the bench and all of a sudden you got to try to make this huge save mentally would be, would be the bigger right mentally part of the whole thing yeah Lincoln Mitchell turn around 25 seconds left Tyson Davison going through. There's Mac Lamphier going up against Tyson Davison. Cody Hall here on the near side going to settle down. This is what we've seen all game. Fantastic move, ball movement like excellent that. Excellent passing. Excellent vision to find, pick out that player and then just really composed to send the ball back across. And that will end the game. Your Hazen Union Wildcats push their record to two and one. A convincing 7-1 win over the Oxbow Olympians today. Cody Hall with two goals, Isaiah Baker with one, Finn Rooney with two goals, Reed Keeler with one, and Wyatt Bellavance completes the scoring today. Like we said, a plethora of Hazen players scoring. Nice, well-balanced uh, attack right there. you got to love that. Yep, absolutely. So once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, Hazen Varsity girls coach Harry Bissett up here providing expert commentary as always. We thank you very much for your time, Harry. Thank you for having me up here. It's the best seat in the house. Good luck tomorrow evening against Enosburg. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.